Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today on this rainy day, I want to talk to you about planting peppers in five gallon containers. And I get a lot of questions about what kind of soil do you use? And I kind of use what I have, you know, in my ground, what I can buy at the stores that is on sale or cheaper. And I also mix in a lot of peat moss. The first thing I want to show you is the containers. These are five gallon containers and there's holes in the bottom. These are containers that I used for my self-wicking tomato system. I'm not going to use these buckets this year because I actually planted a raised bed where I was putting those containers. But the first thing you want to do when you're using five gallon containers for two pepper plants, there are going to be two pepper plants put in here, is you want to make sure you have a hole in the bottom where the roots could grow into a little bit. That's just a backup for some moisture protection in case you miss a watering. But you set up the bucket just like that, a large hole in the bottom, set it where you want it to go, make sure there's enough space between the buckets that you can get in to your garden. That's my salsa garden there. And the way that I set it up, about a third or a half is just the soil from around the garden. There's a handful of tomato fertilizer in there and I will mix that through. I'm using a little more fertilizer than I would normally with a pepper because there are going to be two plants in there. In that earth from my garden, I'm going to put in a shovel full of peat moss and I'm going to mix it thoroughly. And then what I do to fill out the rest is I use either plain old topsoil back there and I do a 50-50 mix. If it's just plain topsoil, it's half topsoil and half peat moss and I mix that together 50-50 and then I would mix that all the way through the container so it's well mixed. If you don't want to mess with peat moss and making it, you can use a premium topsoil which has a little bit more organic matter in it and you could just mix that in to about half of your earth soil. So I'm going to get this ready and then I'll show you the rest of the video. I filled the bucket with a combination of my earth bed soil topsoil and peat moss and there's no exact recipe there's no need to stress about it you just want to make a good mix of soil in there with organic matter either uh, compost or peat moss or something that will retain water and this is what the soil looks like it's pretty loose there's a lot of peat moss in there and I did add in a handful of fertilizer I just want to say with peppers you don't want to over fertilize and I did put in more than I normally do but that's only because I have two plants in there. If you can't manage the watering only put one plant into this hole into this container and it will grow well. If you can manage the watering go ahead and you can put two plants in two plants in the container and you just want to make sure you don't let a container dry out. And remember we put a large hole in the bottom of this to give it a little bit more protection. All you do for the planting is dig a hole and oh, see if I can do this with one hand gently drop it out and I wouldn't say this is quite gentle but drop your pepper in try not to disturb the roots and only plant it to about the level where it was in the cup you don't want to plant this deeper and these peppers actually got a little bit of frost damage I'm still using them they look better this is a red bell, this is a green bell. Over in the other container I put in a yellow bell pepper and a banana pepper. I also cleaned up a lot of the dirt around here and I'm going to show you what it looks like when everything is done and labeled. I planted the rest of the peppers. I did add in some arugula. That will grow out by the time the peppers mature. I mulched off the tops and I mulched out around the raised bed. You don't have to spend a lot of money to fill your containers. I use the earth right here to about half of the container and then I added in peat moss and topsoil and you just want to make sure that when you're making container soil that it has enough organic matter to hold moisture. There are two peppers in each of these containers. As long as you can manage the water you can grow two peppers in a five gallon container. If you can't just go ahead and plant one and that will be plenty of earth for your pepper to grow and mature. In the back you can see my salsa garden which I'm going to shoot a video on how I set that up. I also put in uh, stakes for the peppers to grow up and you can see that they're angled out in different directions. That's just to grow them away from each other so that 
more air can circulate through the pepper plant. And it's always good to have air circulation through your plants so they dry quicker and there's just less risk of disease. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my other YouTube videos. Thanks.